Well, welcome to Northern Ants. My name is Mark. I appreciate you stopping by this video. This is going to be a little bit different video today. We're going to talk a little bit about how I got started in, in ant keeping. And I would love to hear about how you got into ant keeping in the comments below. Tell me when you started. Uh, what got you interested in ant keeping? What was your first colony? Just, you know, tell your story. I'd love to hear it. For me, I started in the early 80s. Uh, my mom said she sat me down in front of an anthill, and I just, from the moment on, I just, I, I was, I loved it. I would sit and I would watch, and then I would, you know, dig up the colonies and I would put the ants in jars and things like that. And really didn't, ha I had no idea there was other people actually out there that kept ants. Well, this was like the early, early, I'm like 1980, <laughs> and there was no internet, so you couldn't just jump on and Google, hey, who's ant keeping out there, you know, and how to do it. Um, so basically it was, you grabbed a pickle jar that was empty, ants always smelled like pickles, <laughs> or peanut butter or something, depending on what the clearest jar you could find uh, to put the ants in. You'd watch them, and very seldom you would get queens. It was just basically you would get the the eggs and and larvae and pupa and things like that, and put them in there, and you watch them dig, and and they would just, they wouldn't last very long. You usually I would just go dump them back to their old hill and stuff like that, and just generally just studying their behaviors and and activity that the the colony was doing. I had situations where, you know, you'd watch them dig and and set up, you know, their tunnels. And I, I had, I did manage to have one that I can remember that sticks out is the, I had them in it for a long time. I had managed to get the queen and a bunch of eggs and stuff. And I had put some red ants in there after they had established. And the workers literally pulled a piece of dirt in front of the chamber that the queen was in. And when the red ants came in, to try to get to them, they had that, but it, it was so cool. It was, they were holding that wood, that piece of dirt in front of the chamber, which kept the red ants from getting into the queen. I eventually just dumped them out and, you know, let them all go. Um, but it was just kind of cool to see that, that activity, you know. And then as I got older, when I was in high school, I would go to the library and I would, you know, check out the books about ants and, and about beekeeping and stuff too, because I, I'm a beekeeper. I started that in 1994. Uh, I started researching beekeeping in 93. Um, ants, so it was always the one around the yard. You know, I always had a, a jar with a shovel, and the neighbors kind of look at me like, don't you dare dig up my yard, <laughs> kind of thing. Um, but th that's basically how I got started. Um, just recently, you know, since I've been kind of focusing on my YouTube channel now, um, I found Tar Heel Ants and the the means to keep the ants alive. Now I've got 20, I think it's 23 colonies that I'm working with. I've got some queens and test tubes. I've got some very nice, uh, I've got harvester ants. I've got carpenter ants. I've got formica black ants, some formica red ants, so, you know, scientific names I'm, I'm not real good um, really good at the scientific names but i always try to list the scientific names in the videos and stuff so so be sure to, down below comment what you know how you got started what is your favorite colony of ants what um when did you get going on it how did you get going on it how did you learn about ant keeping and remember to hit that like button and please subscribe to my channel uh, the more subscribers the better chance I'm going to be able to keep making these videos and keep improving them and stuff. So thank you so much for watching the video. I really do appreciate it. And I'm going to love to talk to you down in the comments. Well, this video has ended. But the nice thing is, is if you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon, you'll get notifications when the next video comes out. Take this opportunity to go over to my homepage and check out some of my other videos. I have a wide variety of different topics, so I hope you enjoy them. Have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you in the comments.